You have beer? I have beer. You have beer? I have beer. Beer, beer, beer. Yeah. Down, down, down. <laughs> down to my belly. Down, yeah. down. We're on air? Down We're on air. Here. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to the pre show. What up? The show where we talk about all the shit that we don't want to talk about on the other show, The Nerds from Work. But we say it every week. This is our show, so. Dude, I think my dude. beer game is off. Dude, you missed it. You missed it. This is two times. In a row, this dude. This is two times. Oh, there it is. That's two times, bro. Like, I think it's getting caught under my fingernail. It's like <laughs> or something. Uh, it's okay. Hmm. I'll forgive you. All right, don't forgive me. Let's just roll through it. That's two times. The other time was when, Tank? It was at Atlantic Comic Con, baby. Yeah. That was a weird throw to you. That was real weird. It's okay. I was ready, dude. I was. Um, I had my hands out, everything. I was. I was ready for it. All right. Well, yeah. So Tank said it. We were at Atlanta Comic Con this weekend. Um, if you guys have listened to that panel, uh, it was a lot of fun. It really was. Oh, dude, it was. I had uh, so much freaking fun doing that panel. Yeah, it was great. Like, um, so first and foremost, uh, I would like to give thanks to Atlanta Comic Con. Uh, yes. For taking a risk on us, like a you know, a little no name podcast, you know, just like hey, can, can we get a show? They're like, <laughs> put it, please, yeah, please. Um, <laughs> but like, we do have a fan base, uh, but it's not as big as like some of the other podcasts that are out there, right? Uh, so you know, we were thinking, all right, you know, we don't know what we're gonna get, and they end up giving us prime time Saturday night. Um, yeah, I mean. We, we really like rocked that one because even Atlanta Comic Con was commenting on our stuff from Twitter and Instagram and stuff and just like blowing it up saying, you know, that honestly, just we did well, you know. Which is surprising seeing as how we didn't really know what we were going to do until like two hours before our actual panel started. We're sitting, we're, well, we're all yeah. sitting around at dinner eating like, so what are we doing again? You can't let out this. I know this is the pre-show and this is kind of like the extra scenes. Like this is like the daredevil behind the scenes or like uh, Deadpool, right? Like the funny outtakes, but we're not supposed to let all the magic tricks out. I mean, we had it planned the whole time. Actually, we had about half of it planned to be perfectly honest. We really did. Um, and then we just kind of like refined it. But no, there was definitely a conversation at dinner about like, yeah, yeah we have like, oh, yeah, they're definitely nice. basically it was like, so, you know, we have a whole hour to fill, right? And like, oh God, we have like 30 minutes worth of content. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, like in all honesty, without Brandon, we'll give shout out to you, Brandon. Uh, yeah. It's can... hard. It's hard to fill a, a one hour live show with no editing. Uh, I remember multiple times during the, the panel, Tank just kind of like looked at me like, yo, dude, what are we doing? Like, we got time. Dude, we still have like <laughs> 30 minutes. Keep going. Yeah. Don't, uh, whatever you do, don't stop talking. Stall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a stall. Um, yeah, but shout out to Atlanta Comic Con. Thank you guys so much for having us this year. Uh, we plan on coming back next year. Yes. Uh, we're going to take a few more panel spots from you guys, if you don't mind. Uh, we did pretty well. Uh, we, bit, we beat out the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, I think, uh, in all honesty, we did have the most attendance for our time slot. So, uh, yeah, my wife went around and checked. She did a <laughs> oh, was pe- that was, peekaboo. That's awesome. I knew she was talking yeah. to people, like, walking through the hall, which is literally how we got, like, half of our viewers. If you've watched the show, it's literally just Jason yelling at people in the hallway, be like, hey, come come watch our panel. It's, we're, we're funny, we promise. But to be fair, to- a lot of people stuck around. Uh, we did get a lot of new followers, a lot of new fans from this panel. And, and speaking um, of new fans that we yelled at in the hallway, green shirt guy with a satchel, we're talking to you, buddy. Yo, green shirt, I see you, bro. I got you, dude. Okay, I saw that Twitter. It's so funny that he went created that. It's so awesome. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So, um, I, there, there's. Atlanta Comic Con is just so great for this, uh, for our show, uh, to help us grow, to help grow the fan base, and it honestly just brought us leaps and bounds. Um, because I, I don't know about Tank, but for me at least, uh, we do this show every week. We do now two shows a week, sometimes three or four, you know, whatever. But it's always just been for us, right? Oh, we're having fun. It's kind of a hobby, you know. And uh, for me, when we did Atlanta Comic Con, it just showed me like. There's so many other people out there um, that get joy and pleasure out of watching our show. And uh, to me, it was just like surreal. 
how all these things are added up like that. Now, I, what are your thoughts on it, man? Now, it was, I mean, it was fun because, like I was saying to us before the panel, like, we're we're used to doing this, like, in our homes, behind our computer screens, and, like, we don't have to, like, think about, like, who's watching or how many people are watching. We just kind of, like, do our thing, shoot the shit, and kind of, like, have fun or whatever. But uh, being honest, like, and this is actually, like, an elevated stage, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess it wasn't that but that was fun. So like on the elevated stage in front of all these people and, uh, and then just, but being able to do the same thing, uh, with each other all next to each other, which was fun. Cause as you guys probably know, we're not like, you know, not obviously I'm not with Jason who's on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Boom. Bitches. So, uh, being able to get with the guys like all next to each other and, uh, be able to like play off each other's energy and stuff was was really good and i thought uh i thought the panel went really well comic con and uh we you know we've had we've made a lot of uh made some a lot of new friends uh met some new mentors from it um and i mean it literally i think it went it went as good as it could have gone which was a thousand times more than what i dared hope for uh, there were times throughout the day where uh I mean, like, I, you guys know me by now. Uh, we've been doing this for over a year. If you've been listening to this for a year, golf clap for you, but also, like, good life. Um, so there are times throughout the day where I was looking over at Tank, and I'm just like, dude, I don't know, you know, how many people are really going to show up to this panel. Like, we've got end of the day, you know, we don't really have a fan base. We're competing with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, and a few other big names. I mean, we were competing with Roberto Blake. Like, right, which I did not realize that's whose name, panel you know? was going to be, like, literally in the room next to ours for the last half yeah. of our panel. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, we were competing with big, big names, and, and and we had the best turnout. Like, I mean, that's just, that's just facts. Um, it could have been that our content, it could have been, uh, a, you know, a multitude of different things. It could have been, you know, my wife just yelling at Did you beat me too? That's the, I was just people. heard just like cold calling everybody who walked past. Yeah. Uh, it, and it could have been a million things. But the fact of the matter is at the end, we still have people hanging around. We have people grabbing our personal Twitter and Instagram. We have people grabbing all these things just to like want to connect with us like as people. And um, that was that was cool for me too. That was real, you know, getting off the stage and shaking hands and People didn't just walk out the back door, you know, like our, our whole crowd came up to us, shaking our hand, thanking us. Like, it was really weird. Like, we should be thanking you. For real, exactly. You know? Like, you stuck around and listened to us be idiots for an hour. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, to me, that was surreal, where they're coming up to us, thanking us, you know, adding us on Instagram and Twitter and doing all these things. And, uh, you know, that, that part was really cool to me. So uh, you guys will see... Uh, hopefully a new level of uh, the nerds from work. We're still going to be the same idiots that you guys love. Yeah, that's uh, not going to drinking change. every show because that's kind of our thing. But um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we're doing behind the scenes. A lot of stuff that we're trying to bring to you guys with the new Dungeons and Dragons adventure coming out. Uh, more celebrity guests. We're going to get more and more of them. Uh, and you know, the more you guys listen, the more we'll get. Uh, you guys are feeding our power. So, uh, you guys want more hosts, more guests, you know, put a comment below, send us an email, say, Hey, try to get this person. And if we can't, we'll dress Brandon up and make him <laughs> act like Robert Downey Jr. That's fine. I'm fine with that. You know what? He actually kind of has the hair for it, to be honest. The hipster hair. Yeah. 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 You know, he does. But, uh, to me, uh, Atlanta comic con just showed me. Because uh, it's not numbers on a page, you know. Right. It's not like oh, it's you have faces a hundred views, or you have three hundred views this week, whatever. Blah blah blah. It's faces. It was people. I'm connecting with people, and and that meant something to me. So tank more about the con from you because I feel like I'm rambling. I mean, it's all drinking good. and rambling. I I so the con. So I guess and I guess I'll back up a little bit too. The con as a whole, I thought went went really well. Um, this is the first year that they put on. The Atlanta Comic Con, um, and for being the first time in Atlanta, I mean everything was smooth. Like the panels weren't like smashed together. Like there was time. It wasn't. It, it was you know. It was only. It was in like one building, 
um, the the what do you call it? The exhibitor tables like were all laid out. It was like, that that room was huge. There was plenty. It was nice though. It was very nice. That's the one thing. No matter how much space Dragon Con buys, the like exhibitor tables, you always feel like uh, herded cattle. Like they can never find enough space for those tables. Um, and this, and for this con, like it was, it was very nicely laid out. Everything was very clean. They had food that was overpriced, but it's con prices. So like maybe even a little expensive for con prices, but it's fine. Yeah. Um, and then you were able to like, I mean, they had tons of comic books, tons of artists, tons of like knickknacky things for, to get, um, me and the wife got like new dice sets for the for our Dungeons and Dragons adventures coming mm. up, which we're pretty pumped about. Um, I got new wall art that you guys will see next week. Uh, so yeah, actually, I actually have a new poster. Um, we both of us have got the same like like yep. Atlanta Comic Con exclusive like nerdy comic book poster that I uh, think I think I'm actually gonna have you sign it, me sign it, uh, Naru and Jamie as like a, a memoir to the nerds from work, like our first convention. Yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, that'd be pretty dope. Um, yeah. But as you can see, my, my office is still pretty garbage because I'm just a naturally lazy person and I haven't cleaned and fixed my office yet. But that's my goal this week so that because eventually it's going to be me and the wife having to sit in this like single frame of a camera. So I got to get kind of stuff situated. So, uh, but yeah, well, I mean, the con was great. Next week, was great. two new offices. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm going to have it clean. I mean, we, it's, I'll, have, I'll, have, yeah, I'll have stuff all over the walls. Um, and uh, you won't see just like random like that. That, that which way to go? That computer back there will probably still be sitting there, but I'll have stuff up on the walls. <laughs> but uh, I mean, the con was great, man. I had a blast. Our panel went great. Um, I, I I was ecstatic for the, the turnout that we got because uh, I was joking all day. You know, we're you know all six people were going to show up, and uh, and we def- we had more than six people, so. Um, a was, lot more than six. Yeah, I was so I was extremely happy with with the turnout, and uh, I mean, I, t- I can I literally I've been tagging stuff panel horror now because I literally just can't wait to get like I like panel junkie. I like I just I want to do another panel. I had so much fun doing that one. It's just trying to figure was, out okay, how good, can I get man. on another panel. It was good. It was not only good for us, but I mean, like, I think it kind of represented a lot of Atlanta Comic Con, like. We came in, not a lot of people knew who we were, and we knocked that shit out of the park, in my opinion. I think um, we did, too. I mean, like you and, said. And so did Atlanta Comic Con. Yes, yeah, so Comic Con liked it. Um, we had other, There were other podcasters that were there. That... Oh, no, I meant Atlanta Comic Con came into Atlanta and knocked it out of the park. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought the convention went real well, you know. So, I mean, it was a blast. I liked, like you said, I can't wait to go back next year. Um, hopefully, we'll do a few more panels next year, and uh should be should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Atlanta Comic Con and Croy, if you're listening to this, because you're trying to measure us out, see if we're safe uh, to do any during hours panels. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, it's Probably not. Give fifty safe. fifty shot. <laughs> I mean, we're fucking awesome. I mean, there so is there that. is that. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Atlanta Comic Con, Croy, Atlanta Comic Con. You were awesome. Uh, you gave us pretty much everything we needed. Uh, you hooked it up with, uh, you know, admission. When we got there, we had one more panelist that we didn't know about. Boom. No problems. No problems. Um, that was awesome. You know, everyone that was there. Tank, do you have any shout outs? Uh, I mean, we got to meet and talk to the Rock Out of Podcasting. Uh, Charles McFall, dude, super, super cool dude. Um, that, that was, you know, so uh, getting to meet and talk to him some, and he's kind of lit a fire underneath me and Jason a little bit to really take this thing to the next level. Like Jason was saying earlier, uh, more on the back end of things. Um, cause like, like Jason, like we're not, you know, the content's not, we don't plan on changing the content cause that's, this is kind of all we know how to do, but try and clean stuff up, bring social, you know, get all our social media together, get it cleaned up and, you know, available, like ready for you guys. When you guys come on, you can, everything you need is there. Um, and just try and make things look, you know, nice and professional for you guys. Um, so <laughs> you just said nice and professional for the nerds from work. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know better than dude. That. Talk about not letting but, the secrets out. But we okay. So I will let the secret out because, as you guys know, we drink and we don't know things. All right. Um, 
we do have a social media manager now. Okay. So she's actually in control of that. And we do have a marketing manager. So we've got those, uh, we've got the rock God of pod, Charles McFall. He's, uh, you know, kind of given us a little advice on how to clean stuff up on the back end. Um, but one thing that we're definitely not going to do is change what we do. So cheers to that tank. Dude. Aye, cheers. Aye. Uh, All right, so that's going to cut it for the pre-show. Yeah, man. And uh, you guys can catch us tomorrow morning or tomorrow, anytime, really, I guess, if you download us on iTunes, uh, if you download us on SoundCloud, which I don't know who does that, but iTunes, SoundCloud, and Facebook, The Nerds From Work. You can catch us on Twitter and Instagram, at Nerds From Work. All that stuff is linked together and working now. Uh, You can also check out my Instagram television I know the Nigerian nerds got Instagram television. Tank will be getting on Instagram television. Uh, yeah, you're gonna do it. Uh, Brandon, Brandon's gonna start doing it, and it's gonna be weird. <laughs> I mean, Brandon's a weird guy. Brandon, so check us out on Instagram TV. Uh, all our handles are gonna be in the description below. Check us out on our real show, and then from work. Check that shit out tomorrow. But uh, for me, thank you, Atlanta Comic Con. Thank you, Rock Got a Pod. Tank. No, thank you guys. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Deuces.